Good day, good day! <laughs> How the heck are you today? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and uh, we're talking about corgis still on uh, Roverland Channel. That's the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rovers. And what we've got today is a 1973 gift set number 19. Now this is uh, blue with the yellow lemon interior, a little red beacon on top. Now some of these did come with uh, orange or uh, a tilt um, uh, canvas back to the top there, or back to the top, uh, and, and a nipper light aircraft, okay? So this was the gift set number 19, and um, We'll take a look at this uh, trailer right away first. So uh, it came with a nipper light aircraft, I guess. Um, and take a look at the body, all, all metal here, one piece casting. Does have a plastic uh, uh, insert piece here and uh, the wings would uh, be uh, attached on there. And then uh, the, the, the body of the plane, or the fuselage, excuse me, fuselage would be on the rest of the uh, uh, trailer. So, uh, and then, let's see, the aircraft had a decal number 23 on it, uh, the circle, uh, you know, the old <laughs> office envelope sticker that was on the... Um, the aircraft, but uh, I don't have the aircraft. I did buy this bugger off of eBay. It was uh, cheap because uh, it doesn't have the aircraft, so therefore it's uh, a little bit uh, cheaper, you know. So anyway, but there you go. So that's the trailer, a single axle trailer, which is kind of kind of tippy. Of course, you know, um, uh, the. Um, Aircrafts are pretty light anyway. I don't know if that's stock, those uh, rear taillights. Is, uh, does anybody else know? Uh, you know, I never really noticed that till just now. Uh, it's got uh, taillight de uh, taillights detailed on it. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, so this is the truck I bought with that. Comes with a nice big uh, tow hitch on it. Uh, so this is a Whiz Wheels. Uh, 1973 by this time uh, Corgi Toys put out uh, they got away from the uh, aluminum mag wheel uh, hub and rubber wheels and they went with these here um, now they, these roll really fast I mean these I th you know of course they're metal on metal uh, rubber uh, plastic wheels these things I think would beat a Hot Wheels any day now they are kind of still <laughs> built aerodynamically like a, a, a garden barn or a Cheryl she shack but <laughs> what what can I say huh? oh, don't burn down Cheryl she shack all right uh, sure all right so we're still the uh, basic uh, model here um, you know the 438 I think they call it uh, series one. A very very nice uh, blue um, you know and I can't even remember what the uh, plane I think it's yellow and, and orange I think but I can't remember for sure but anyway just basic uh, you know the the telltale sign here for these um, uh, gift sets the uh, gift set number 19 and I had a couple of these that I would gotten um, without the trailer and I didn't know exactly what they went for uh or two or what you know what uh model number they were because they, they don't tell you on the base and uh the I mean obviously the red button up on top the little bubble gum machine up there but they did paint the front uh bumper was painted and you know and then they have the uh eggs on the grill the the grill was painted and the headlights there but uh, so there, there you go. That gets you an idea. Uh, I don't know how many years they produced this. Like I say, Corgi. There's no real uh, database on this. 
I'm uh, hoping that some of you guys can let me know the extent of the run. Um, but 73 gift set number 19. So I know that we can date uh, some of these. Uh, as far as I know, this, this gift set number 19 did not come with the uh, mag wheels. And I don't want to break that, so I'm not going to mess with it. Now this one I did buy in the wild here in uh, Wisconsin. Um, let's see, what do we got? Corgi Land Rover, very, very uh, descriptive, 350 yeah, all day long. I'll pay up to five bucks for one of these buggers, especially in this condition. Uh, very, very nice condition. Very little uh, play worn on it. Uh, you know, the wheels are very nice uh, for whiz wheels. Pretty nice shape there. Uh, the dome is not uh, scratched up too much. Now, what I want to do point out is uh, the interior on these are the uh, lemon interiors and it has the molded steering wheel in the um, in the in the interior it's not a separate piece now it's, if you watch some of my other videos and I'm gonna tag the video about the uh, Corgi wheels uh, video that I did first about these models and then some of the other ones you can see that we can watch this uh, steering wheel and kind of get us an idea on the date. Of course, I don't know uh, exactly um, the dates, but um, when they make less parts, then it's a later date because they're trying to save money. All right, this one I do remember. I went to um, Jefferson Car Show. Uh, it's uh, quite a quite a ways away from me. Uh, they do a spring car show and a fall car show, and this is the first one uh, that I found that day. Uh, it was in a box. I think I paid a dollar for it, and uh, one of the reasons why is if you can see, <laughs> he got t-boned. Yeah, he got t-boned pretty good there, and uh, but I I pick him up, man. Uh, crack the. Uh, you know, the bulkhead and everything, uh, pretty severe there. But uh, now that I get her home and put her in the cabinet and get her uh, with the other ones, you can notice that this is an early model. If we can get a nice uh, section. This has got the silver steering wheel that sticks into the lemon dash. So... This is really, um, you know, quite a catch, I think, you know, uh, especially for a dollar. I know it kind of got T-boned, but, uh, you know, uh, I could uh, restore it and, uh, you know, swap it out with uh, another nicer body. But, uh, you know, there's quite a story behind that one. I, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm sure there's a story. I'm glad it got hit on this side because hopefully the uh, driver was okay then, you know. But uh, still a regular whiz wheel. You can see that the uh, on the bottom there, we're kind of looking on the bottom. And then on the top there, oh boy, yeah, she got smooshed in there. Good. I'm not, just wonder what happened there, you know. So there you go. Very nice model. This is uh, from the gift set, number 19 from Corgi. Uh, as far as I know, it always came out with the whiz wheels. I'm not totally 100% sure on that. If you could let me know in the comments down below, that would be awesome. All right. So, let's call it a video, huh? Very nice vehicle today. Uh, I've, I, um, like I say, I only got one trailer. No aero, aeroplane, but uh, I've been collecting these and uh, putting them together. Uh, for quite a while, so there you go. Um, come over to Facebook, Roverland, and uh, show me your gift set number 19, the uh, aeroplane uh, Land Rover set. Do you have the airplane? I'd like to see a picture of your airplane with your set. Does your interior have the silver steering wheel, or does it have the, what I'm calling, later molded in yellow steering wheel yeah that's what i want to know all right instagram roverland channel come over there and check me out as well and uh there you go make sure you give me a 
big thumbs up here on this one. Subscribe, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do. That really helps out the channel. We're getting going somewhere and uh, more things to come. If you can subscribe, we get more subscribers. We can do more. That's right. And share. Wow. Yeah. If you could share this with all your Rover buddies, that would be great. We're going to get into more stuff, anything and everything Land Rover. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. All righty. That's going to be it for today. Make sure you guys uh, keep uh, slow traffic on the right and have a great Rover day.